Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, if i raised to x is equal to 2 raised to y is equal to 10 raised to minus z, then find the value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. Okay, so how to do this? So here it is given, phi raised to x is equal to 2 raised to y is equal to 10 raised to minus z. So let all these three be equal to k. We are just taking a third variable. So phi raised to x is equal to k, then 2 raised to y is equal to k, and 10 raised to minus z is also equal to k. So now let's try to find out x, y and z. Our question is to find out 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. So we should be able to find out x, y and z. So for that we equated each of these terms to a common variable k. 5 raised to x is equal to k, 2 raised to y is equal to k and 10 raised to minus z is equal to k. So what is x? 5 raised to x is equal to k. So if you take 1 by x, 1 by x root, okay. So if you are taking 1 by x the root means you can take in both numerator and denominator. So what you will be getting at last? k raised to 1 by x is equal to 5. Then similarly here also in order to eliminate this y, you can take y th root, okay. So y th root you are taking. So you have to take y th root of k also. You are taking y th root in both the left hand and right hand terms of the equation. So 2 raised to y, the whole raised to 1 by y is equal to k raised to 1 by y. So you will be getting k raised to 1 by y is equal to 2. Then here also same way we are going to take the z root of 10 raised to minus z. So you will be getting 10 raised to minus z the whole raised to 1 by z is equal to k. You are taking minus 1 by z. Okay. So you should be getting you have to cancel out here. So here also you are taking k raised to 1 by z. So k raised to minus 1 by z is equal to 10. So you got three expressions here. 5 is equal to k raised to 1 by x. Then 2 is equal to k raised to 1 by y and 10 is equal to k raised to minus 1 by z. Now you know 5 into 2 is equal to 10. So you can write rewrite the expression in terms of k. 5 is equal to k raised to 1 by x and 2 is equal to k raised to 1 by y. And what is 10? 10 is equal to k raised to minus 1 by Set. Now again what is the next step? Next step is once you do this question only for the exam you will be able to attempt this question because uh, all of a sudden you cannot form the idea how to do this how to do this kind of question. So you have to practice and go. So next step is 5 into 2 is equal to 10. So you rewrote the expression in terms of k. So here k if you are taking as common k raised to 1 by x plus 1 by y. You know x raised to a into x raised to b is equal to x raised to a plus b. So that is a common expression x raised to a into x raised to b is equal to x raised to a plus b. So here also you will be getting k raised to 1 by x into k raised to 1 by y is equal to k raised to 1 by x plus 1 by y. It is equal to k raised to minus 1 by z. So finally what you will be getting? So k and k you can or the bases are same. So you can easily equate the powers also. Here since the base are same, the powers you can equate. So you will be getting 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to minus 1 by z. So from that you will be getting 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 0. So that is your answer. So what are the steps to do this problem? The first thing is here the given expression equation is given 5 raised to x is equal to 2 raised to y is equal to 10 raised to minus z. So you are equating all the three or each this each of these terms are equated to a common variable. So 5 raised to x is equal to k, 2 raised to y is equal to k and 10 raised to minus z is equal to k. So you are just trying to eliminate the power. So 5 raised to x the root you have to take in both the right hand and left hand and terms of the equation. So you will be getting 5 is equal to k raised to 1 by x, 2 is equal to k raised to 1 by y and 10 is equal to k raised to minus 1 by z. So 5 into 2 is equal to 10. You will be rewriting the expression in terms of k. So you will be getting k into 1 by x into k, in, k, into k raised to 1 by x into k raised to 1 by y is equal to k raised to minus 1 by z. Then by using the base. Here the base is same. So this can be rewritten as k raised to 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to k raised to minus 1 by z. Since the base is same, you can equate the powers. So you will be getting 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to minus 1 by z. So from there, finally you will be getting 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 
zero. The second question, if two raised to n minus one plus two raised to n plus one is equal to six hundred forty, then find the value of n. So what is the question? Two raised to n minus one plus two raised to n plus one is equal to six hundred forty. Suppose both these terms are same, means it will be more easier for you to calculate. So you can convert this two raised to n plus one into two raised to n minus one. How to do it? Two raised to n minus one plus two raised to n minus one plus two plus two. If you are doing means you will be getting two minus one is equal to one. So you will be just getting this term by. Okay. So n plus one. Is written as n plus two minus one. So that is what we are doing here. So n plus one is n minus one plus two is equal to six hundred forty. So you will be getting what is two raised to n minus one plus two. You can rewrite it as two raised to n plus one into two raised to n minus one into two square is equal to six hundred forty. We are just splitting these terms. Okay, x raised to a plus b is equal to x raised to a into x raised to b. So that is what is written here. Two raised to n minus one plus two raised to Minus one into two square is equal to six hundred forty. So what you will be getting? You are taking two raised to n minus one common. So two raised to n minus one into one plus two square. Two square is equal to four. So one plus four is equal to six hundred forty. Or you will be getting two raised to n minus one is equal to six hundred forty divided by five, which gives you one twenty eight. So two raised to n minus one is equal to one twenty eight. So you know already that two raised to seven is equal to one twenty eight. Okay. So what you'll be getting? N minus one is equal to seven. So your n will be equal to eight. So once you are able to form this equation, it is very easy to solve, and you can get the value for n. So your aim will be to rewrite the expression given in terms of same base. So two raised to n minus one. So you have to try to get two raised to n minus one. In the second term also, that is the key here. So here the answer is n is equal to eight. Now question number three: If eleven root n is equal to root of one twelve plus root of three forty three, then find the value of n. So eleven eleven root n is equal to. So what is eleven root n? Eleven root n is equal to root of one twelve plus root of three forty three. Then you have to find the value of n. Okay, so now let's try to simplify this root of one twelve and root of three hundred forty three. So one twelve, how can you factorize? One twelve means one twelve by two is equal to fifty six. Then again by two is equal to twenty eight. So you can do seven here. So you'll be getting four, and which is again equal to two and two. So root of one twelve can be written as Two into two into two into two into seven plus what about root of three forty three? Three forty three again. Three forty three can be divided by seven, so you'll be getting forty nine and forty nine again seven. So root of seven into seven into seven. So how can you rewrite this? Root of two into two into two into root of sixteen is equal to four. So four root seven plus here also seven root seven. Seven into seven. The square root is equal to seven. So four root seven plus seven root seven. So eleven root ten is equal to four root seven plus seven root seven. That is eleven root seven. Seven plus four is equal to eleven. Since in both the terms you are having root seven, you can easily add them. So eleven root ten is equal to root seven implies n is equal to seven. Squaring both sides, you will be getting n is equal to seven. So once you see this question, just proceed, and then you will be getting some expression which will be familiar. and from that you will be able to solve and get the answer thank you for watching